Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today's topic is IBM mainframe versus Unisys mainframe. Uh, where has the good scope of career or job, whether it is in IBM mainframe or Unisys mainframe, and where would we find the Unisys mainframe jobs? First, we will differentiate the IBM mainframe and uh, Unisys mainframe based on the batch processing. In IBM, we use the JCL and its full form is job control language. But in Unisys, we use the ECL and its full form is executive control language. Okay. In JCL, we use the uh, job card. We, we use the job card and uh, which define like which job, which job is running. Okay. And in, in an exact statement, define like it, it tell us which program we are running or which uh, IBM utility. IBM utility we are running okay and there is DD statement which tell us uh, like which file we are creating which files we are creating or deleting and then there is delimiter uh, it it and the it marks the end of an in stream data set like you have used the sort utility okay in sort utility you must have seen like sys in uh, dd star and then you have uh, read right here like sort field equal to copy okay and then you end with this the uh, slash star okay so this is the end of the in stream data set okay and then we have the null statement null is represented by the double slash and you have not written anything next to it then it means we have ended the job at this point your job will be ended and then we have the command command is represented by the double slash and star okay and uh, then we have the output it supply options for the sys out processing okay and then we have the pro like procedure yeah, it is a procedure uh, like pro and it marks the beginning of a procedure and then we have the pan it means ma it marks the end of a procedure like yeah, for pro by proc we are beginning the procedure by and we are ending the procedure and uh, we have the jcl lib and it identify a private procedure library means where we will find our procedure and there is include like copies its copies the statement from another library member into the job and we can also have set parameter which can set the default value for symbolic variable like what well what symbolic value what value we are passing to our pro so we can set by the set or we can uh, like we can set by the uh, we can set in the initialization of the job like what what value we want to use into our all steps and what value we want to use in the procedure so we can use by that the step and then we have the if then else and end if statement which provide which provide conditional execution of a job step and then we have the command you must have seen the like uh, when you have opened the mainframe like there is uh, first line is start with the command okay and then there is like uh, you can enter anything you can like you have opened the job you can submit the job uh, or you can uh, like open by three pen for uh, another session okay and in Unisys, we have the run command, okay, which is similar to the job card, which is similar to the job card. And it marks the beginning of a job and assign a name, assign a name to the job. The run statement is also used to provide certain administrative information like accounting and identification information. Every JCL has one and only one run statement, like in, uh, in in JCLV has the only one job card. Similarly, we have one run card in the ECL. Okay, like we are using here cat command to catalog a file in master file directory. But in JCL, we were using the DD statement, DD statement to create the file. And in this, we are using ASG command to assign file or device or communication line for a batch run. Okay, we are using the ASG command, but here we use the like sysin, uh, like we use the sort, so 
uh, like sort in or sort out we use like that but here we use the AS asg command and then we have the uh, free command which release the files or device or release line from a disk line but here we use the disk parameter to release the uh, like but this parameter we use for release the like uh, 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 space which is left into uh, into the file like it has not taken the full full storage so it will release the uh, space and then we have the delete command to delete a file okay and then we have the use command to simplify the file name if the file name is complex like we can rename the file and uh, execute command is used to execute the program but here we use the uh, uh, exec statement okay we use the exec statement here is exec statement and then we have the uh, fin command here to mark the end of the run stream or job and next we will differentiate the Unisys mainframe and IBM mainframe based on the job submission and schedule. In IBM mainframe, in IBM mainframe, we like to enter or submit the job into the system. The programmer or system operator issue a submit command. Okay. But in Unisys, to enter or submit the job into the system, the programmer or system operator issue a start command. Okay. And uh, we can schedule the job by coding the JS3 uh, uh, double slash star main command along with your job statement or job scheduler tool can also be used. But here we use the opcon and other job scheduler tool that is used to schedule the Unisys job. We have the one tool here opcon. But here we have uh, numbers of tools tool like TWS then we have like cheat tool also we have available okay Ma mainly we have the TWS uh, scheduler and uh, then we will differentiate based on the uh, database processing in IBM in IBM in IBM we use the DB2 database but in Unisys we use the RDBMS data okay and uh, like in DB2 is a relational database management system the DB2 Universal Database UDB is a cross-platform database system developed by IBM. It has three components like data control language, which is used for like uh, some uh, like re to revoke uh, anything or uh, grant the access to the user. Okay, so we use revoke and grant into into the DCL, and then there is data definition language. In this, like we can create the table. And then we have the data manipulation language it in it in, in it we can insert the data like update the data also there are numbers of operation uh, here like we can we, we will also have table uh, index query like we can write table query index query we can write view query then we have like dm mail operation and like we can write also select query as well insert update or delete Similarly, in Unisys, we have the like table also and index also and view also select, insert or update and delete. But Unisys uh, support the database management system for OS 2200 system through the UDS Universal Data System. UDS support network database through the database management data management system means DMS and flat file database through uh, SFS means shared file system and relational database through RDMS. RDMS users use SQL command to create and access RDMS database component of RDMS. UDS has two component that support all database regardless of type like there is two component one is UDS control. UDS control handles all actual input or output operation on the database and it also provides recovery and locking service also. Okay. And second component is Unisys repository manager. UREP handles repository tasks such as storing table and view definition. Okay. Then we have all like the table index, relational data structure, view and select all all other query okay we can write here and uh, then we can differentiate differentiate based on the transactional processing like in IBM we use the CICS 
means customer information control system and cics is used to execute transaction in ibm mainframe there are some activity uh, while we are entering a transaction in a terminal like uh, first activity is each transaction is identified by a unique four uh, character code called a transaction identifier or we can say trans id most often a transaction is invoked when an operator enter the transaction id at the terminal in that case the terminal is automatically associated with the resulting task and then in second activity when a transaction is invoked a specified application program is loaded into the storage and a task is started and in third activity uh, transactions are defined in the cics program control table each trans id is paired with the name of the program which is cics program and it will load that program and execute when the transaction is invoked and then we have the cics processing program table which contain a list of valid program name and keep track of which programs are located in storage cics use it to determine whether it will load a new copy of the program when the transaction is invoked and then we have like each transaction load and execute a single program but that program may issue cics command to load and execute other sub programs okay and those programs may in turn execute other programs as a result even though a task is always execution of a single transaction it may result in the execution of more than one program okay and after the execution the result will be display in the user terminal so it is all about in the ibm mainframe and which is icics but in unisys we use the transactional processing tip we can we use the ti tip to execute the transaction and uh, like there are also some activity like user input at the terminal and uh, it become the part of an input message that is ultimately sent to the program and then the input message consists of a transaction code okay transaction code and the parameter means what data we are going to send okay so we it contain the uh, two parameter like it contain the in our input message contain the uh, transaction code and the parameter then we have the like uh, cms 1100 it give the message okay this is like our terminal cms 1100 it give the message to the mcb message control block which is the message handler for the program okay and but a but message is contain the transaction code and uh, it contain the data parameter okay and it will give to the mcb and then mcb give the transaction code to the tip which verify the program exist and schedule it for the execution when program execution begin then program get the input parameter from mcb and process them and then we have like program reads or update the database and produce an output message the output is passed back to the mcb which it give to the cms 1100 as an output message then cms 1100 deliver the uh, output message to the user's terminal and or uh, to the design follow up transaction okay so in unisys we use the tip tip instead of cics but it is similar to the uh, cics and next question is like in which organization mainframe has the best scope and uh, which jo- which has the where has the good scope of career or job and where would we find the unisys mainframe first we have ibm eh? okay and then there is unisys unisys ibm has means uh, very large uh, large tools and so it is used at number of places like it used in the uh, cognizant as well okay and it is used in coforce company as well and it is used in like infosys as, as well okay and it is used in tcs as well it is used in the uh, dxc technology as well so it is used at number of places but uh, in unisys it unisys has not so much means uh, scope so it is used mainly like it is used mainly uh, i think it is used in the tcs uh, tcs company so i think uh, i think ibm has the good scope okay 
so i have seen the unisys mainframe only used uh, in the tcs only uh, currently there is uh, jobs in the tcs for the unisys mainframe okay unisys mainframe so mostly it is used in, in the tcs and but ibm is a gold like once you uh, went into the ibm mainframe then it has there there are the various opportunity at various place but in unisys there is not so much scope, scope. so uh, so it is good to go into the ibm mainframe thank you guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel if uh, you have any suggestion or any comment please uh, drop that comment into below box